Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here checking in today. I'm with my dad right here. I got my daughter, Casey. My girl, Candace, is out here. I brought the family out to do some go-karting because my videographer thinks I can only race in a straight line. So we're here to see if that's true or not. Also, we brought the GTR and the R8. Had some fun on the way here. We're also gonna take those out on the real racetrack, so we thought it'd be good to do a mini racetrack with some mini go-karts here for a little warm-up. So the first race I'm gonna do against my dad and my girl, see how the track is and stuff, and then the second race I'm gonna do against my videographer, see if he was right or not. And then also the Proto Z spec, we were gonna get it, but because of that price and the markups at all the dealerships, we decided, nah, it's a piece of Oh, it should be fun. I've only done this one other time. It was actually on a cruise ship. I don't know if I ever even told you about that. No. Yeah, they had a big old racetrack set up with go-karts on the cruise ship. That was kind of fun. Oh, nice. but, yeah, other than that, I've never done it, so we'll see. All right, we'll see who's the fastest. Let's go. Um, we had to sign up and register to be able to race on the track, so I'm just finishing that up for everybody right now and then we'll be good to go. So I just saw over here they have the best times of the week. Looks like for times, this first place right now is 21. What is that, seconds? That's pretty quick to go around the track. I don't know if I'm going to be able to top that time. But first place is Lando Norris, so I can't be mad about losing to him. You know, he's a professional. <laughs> Alright, we have to go in here where this is a briefing video. I said there's a short video we have to watch before we can go out on the track. And then everything else is set, then it's race time after this. Alright, here we are at the staging area. You know, I got my own Spider Man helmet. My dad got his cool carbon fiber helmet. I see he's even put the gloves on, he, so he's looking serious. <laughs> So uh, better watch out, I guess. So we'll see what happens. Let's get out there and find out. I told you. All right, we just got done with the race. I saw the results, I think it's pretty crazy. I'm feeling dizzy right now from that thing. That's, it's a lot of laps when you only have three people out there. Yeah, it might have been cooler with a lot more people, but it's still fun. What'd you think? Oh, it's great. It's just, uh, I'd like to be out there by myself and try the time, because yeah. I had to keep slowing down for Candace. Yeah. <laughs> but so did you though. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it was fun. I wasn't worried about having to slow down for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ended up beating me by a whole second, the, the best time. I'm pretty sure he sabotaged mine before the race, so what can you do in that case? You, you know? remember the carts in Vegas? So we were in Vegas and we got these scooter carts, and he didn't know that there was a switch to turn it into second gear, so I was killing him everywhere. So that time you were right. <laughs> yeah, so see, he was cheating that time, got to be cheating this time. <laughs> well, yeah, you learn a lot about racing, how to... You always want to pick a spot into the next corner. You learn a lot when you when you take racing lessons. Yeah, it makes a difference. So he has his license, I don't. So that's why he won. You know, I was going against a professional. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of reasons that you could say I won, but I say it's because I was a better racer. So I just want to do a race with me. If I do another race, I feel like I'll throw up. <laughs> what about my yeah, yeah, he has to. Yeah, he has to avenge for us. 
I get motion sickness, so I can only do one. But he can he can hold it up for us. So. All right, here we are outside after that race. I'm kind of dizzy, so I don't think I can do another one. I get motion sickness. I don't want to be out there throwing up on camera. So my dad won anyway, so I'm going to put him up against our video guy behind the camera. Was talking all that mess, so we'll put our best shot up against him to see if give us our best chance of winning, you know. So recently we went and checked out the 400Z, the, you know, the crazy proto spec, the one that's been going around the internet with the crazy high markups at all these dealerships. We were interested in buying one, so we went to check it out and talked to the general manager there. And he was talking about he'll sell it to us right now for like a little bit over 100000 And it's just insane. He said he had offers for 90000 and 95000 Does he have those? Who knows? Maybe. It's pretty crazy. I know TJ Hunt just bought one for 80000 or 81000 I saw in his video. For him, it makes a lot more sense. You know, he's got all the supply chain connects. He's got his own wide body company, Street Hunter Designs, that he's going to be doing. So he's bought it to be the first in the world with all that stuff and debut it at SEMA here in a couple months. So that makes way more sense. For us, it's, you know, a, a GTR that we just got is, uh, we paid a, a little bit over a hundred for it. So it's like, how can we pay for that for just that regular Z, new Z for just a different color, different interior, you know, doesn't make any sense. If there was something crazy special about it, yeah, there's 200 made, but it's just 200 in that color. I'll wait and buy a regular one and wrap it in that same yellow color and call it the proto spec, you know? So yeah, the interior is a tiny bit different, but you could change that too for a few grand and have the same thing for way less than 100 grand. So we're just gonna pass on that at this time. But we just heard on the intercom, it's time for that race. So let's go in and see if my dad can beat our video guy. All right, so that does it here at Tracks Racing here in Muckleteo. That was a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I came here, years. I know this place has been here for years. I'm not sure exactly how many years. We're gonna find that out in one second. But I just found out they're gonna be actually closing down soon. So it's really cool that we got a chance to come out here and check it out. Um, yeah, how long has this place been here? Uh, currently, it's been open about 24 years now. 24 years, wow. Yeah. And do you know why you guys are closing down? Or? Yeah, um, it was a lease, a lease agreement dispute. Um, okay. The owner of the building got a better offer than we were than we were able to match, unfortunately. Right. So um, we went around, tried to scout out a new location for the business. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find one, which led us in turn to having to sell the business. Okay, yeah. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. What can you do? I know this place has been here forever. This is only my second time personally here, but I've, I've heard a lot of people come here all the time. It's an awesome place. I sure had a lot of fun. What did you think? Oh, yeah, that was a ball. Great fun. Except for he gave me the slow card versus you, but I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now he sabotaged my card, I'm pretty sure, so I don't know. But that was a lot of fun. I'm surprised that Lee, the camera guy, beat us. He ended up having the fastest time on that second race, so now we're going to have to take it out to the Bremerton Roll Races, and he can bring his car, and I'll bring any of my cars, and we'll see what happens at the real racetrack. You know, when I told him I didn't want to do another race because my back was hurting so bad, and he kept going, come on, you have to, you have to. I was suspicious. Yeah. yeah. He knew he had a faster cart picked out. He was talking was to the suspicious. owners and stuff the whole time. He we had no idea what he was talking all about. all week. And, yeah. Yeah. He's so getting a warm-up on yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.